So for those who follow me over on Refurbished Gentlemen, you know I'm kind of a brush nerd. Have been that way since the very beginning. Tried every brush, figured out every brush, learned why the brushes were built the way they were and why some were just better. When well, one I landed on Klingon in Wise All Premium Brushes, I knew I had the brush. But how do you keep those brushes for a long, long time? Well, you have to clean them. You have to maintain them. You gotta have to take care of them. Well, this week I'm doing a video on just that. How I maintain my brushes, how I keep them looking brand new all the time, and a product alert for you guys out there who are thinking about how, what to use, all that kind of good stuff. Wiseall has you covered. We have a new soap called Bad A Soap. And I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So it's kind of a product alert slash how to clean your brushes, maintain your brushes video. So I'm going to show you how to use this product and how well it works and a little bit of tips and tricks along the way. So if this is something you're looking forward to, stay tuned today on Wise Owl Paint Party. I have this brush is a S50, Klingon S50, and I've had it in this Ziploc bag probably for two weeks. I knew this little example was coming, so I wanted to show not only can with our water-based products can you put it in a Ziploc bag, but it will clean after some time. So first and foremost, I'm just running it through the water and just mushing it around. And I have this galvanized steel little bucket thing that I like to use and the main reason for that is I like to keep it submerged in water and the little bit of friction that the galvanized steel at the bottom gives will give a little bit of tug and pull on any of the crusties you might get you know where you get it where the paint starts to dry a little bit up towards the ferrule uh, and just rub it out as you saw it maintained it's basically almost wet all the way through the brush by having it in the Ziploc bag. This was one hour ceramic, our luxury interior wall paint and inkwell that I used to work on an example. But you can see on the brush itself, it has a little faint line across top where it was starting to dry. So I'm taking this little multi-tool brush thing I found at Lowe's and I'm just kind of scrubbing over it. And it's a plastic bristle brush because our Klingon and Wiseall paint premium brushes are DuPont fibers. They are synthetic filaments. So basically plastic. So your best way to clean them if you're gonna use a brush is plastic on plastic, right? You don't really wanna use something too harsh like a metal bristle because you might tear up the plastic with that. So I use this little plastic tool I just found here recently. And I just brushed out that line. As you can see, it's pretty clear uh, already. And I haven't even done anything with the soap yet. I just kind of ran it through the water. But here comes the bad ace. So this is our unscented. And it's really just this simple. You squirt a little bit into the brush. You mush it down through all the filaments. And you just kind of massage it in. And what this is doing is it's just cleaning and basically like I don't know it's like almost like putting lotion on your hands is what it feels like when you're putting it in and through these bristles or through the filaments because what it's doing is it's just softening everything up it's if so if there's paint it's softening that up it's just cleaning and doing all these things so it's really bringing the brush back to life Whereas if you were just to rinse it with water, there might still, still be a little be still bit be a little bit of paint left. And as you may have done before, if you just rinse it off with water, it might still be a little crusty. We're using our brand new soap. It's going to make it really soft and pliable and back to the way it used to be. So last but not least, I get really, really hot water after I've massaged it in and I fill up a little bit of my bucket. And I just kind of lay the brush in this now, you know, bad a soaped water that I've massaged through the filaments and I'll just kind of let it sit. And as you can see, it's already pretty well clean. 
So I left it, let it sit there, I don't know, about a half hour, and I came back and I just kind of rub my fingers through it, make sure it feels like I've got all the paint. And as you can see, it's, it's almost like new again. The only thing you can tell is that the tips where it's tipped and flagged uh, takes on a stain, a little bit of the color, whatever, if it's a darker color especially, but that does not transfer. It is actually a clean brush, it's just those tips start with that white so if you look down in the left hand corner you can see the whole array of both Wiseau premium brushes and Klingon and they're flagged and tipped and those ends are white and they will stain the color but they will not transfer over into anything so you don't need to worry about that but as you can see just rinse it out rinse it really 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 good and then of course I get one of my ball wide mouth jars and I like those because you can fit multiple brushes in at a time and this is my Klingon cup so I'll stick it over in the corner and let it set and whenever I get around to it you know probably like a week later I'll pull it out and then hang it up all right so you've got your brushes all nice and clean and pretty and they're sitting in your Klingon cup in your sink and then the question is what next and that's a question I get a lot with Klingon the thing that people hear a lot is that you just leave them suspended in water. Well, you don't have to leave them suspended in water. Now they are made from synthetic filament, so plastic basically, and not a hog hair or horse hair like a natural bristle. So you can just leave them sitting in the water. It's not going to harm them, it's not going to hurt them. Uh, the ferrules are all made of stainless steel, same with our Wiseau uh, premium brushes. But if you don't want to have, you know, cups of water and br brushes sitting there because you will want to change out the water every once in a while if you're just going to leave it there forever you can hang them up and that's what i do so i wanted to kind of show a little bit of what you probably have seen behind me in some of the videos is a wall control like what you would use for tools just um pegboard that i have mounted on my wall and then i hang my brushes to dry so i go through that cleaning process I let it sit in my Klingon cup for however long. I mean, it just depends. If it's like a week or so later after it's sat in the water, water stays clear, I might go in there and just rinse them all off, set them down on the towel next to the thing, let them dry, and then I'll let them come hang, and then they'll just hang out up here. So this is what I do. It has worked great for me. I have a little bit of that OCD from my military days, which likes to have things in their place so if I'm looking for you know an S50 I know it's in, down in this general area if I'm looking for F50 if any are clean there will be up in this area you know what I mean so it's just one of those things organizationally you know for what brush you need for what project it's in its place but you can hang it let it dry let it finish drying that is you don't want it to drip dry on this because it'll get all over the place so I put it on a towel let it finish drying enough where it's not dripping anymore and I bring it out here and with the soap after you've used the soap and let it dry, the one thing I found so far is the, the filaments almost feel like they're new again, where they're softer and more pliable. Whereas sometimes if you wash, like I wash it with just like regular soap or just rinse it out, and maybe I didn't rinse it all the way, it had, it's kind of that crusty feeling. Although you can kind of like work it and it goes right back to it, the soap with some good rinsing really makes it feel almost like um, I don't know, like we put lotion on or something. I don't know, I'm trying to think of the right word where it's nice and smooth and soft and pliable that the filaments are again, and even after hanging it up and letting them dry. So, but that's one of the questions I get asked a lot is do I have to leave my Klingon or my Wiseau Premium brushes because they are made of synthetic filaments, do I need to leave them suspended in water? And the answer is no, you can hang them up. And this is just a cool option for you and right down here at the bottom, I have my S50s. And I just want to show you real quick what I got. So I got one of these guys. Looks like this. And you can actually fit your Klingon S50s right in between, just like that. Pretty cool, right? So you, instead of having to have a hole through your brush like we have for the rest of the Klingons, you can get one of these. And you can fit one, two, three, four, five across. And I just got this at Lowe's, I got the wall control at Lowe's, just one of those things where it makes it so much easier to allow your brushes to dry completely and then just keeps them organized. 
So that's just something I wanted to share. I know you guys have probably seen it hanging behind me in quite a few videos and I've had questions so I figured I'd add it to this newest video about cleaning brushes. And there you have it. Quick easy way to clean and maintain your brushes with our new product alert. And one thing I wanted to add that we have lemon verbena and bourbon vanilla as scents for our bad A soap. So not only do we have the unscented I used while I was cleaning the brushes today, but we have two scented versions. If you've used our salve, you kind of know what these smell like, you know what you're getting beforehand. And so you'll get beautifully clean brushes and they'll smell good too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just another something I wanted to share, questions I get quite a bit is how do I maintain? Why do my brushes look brand new after they know I've had them for years? This is the steps I take. I have a little bit of that military OCD as I mentioned before. And one of those things is taking care of my tools and making sure that they last and these brushes will last. Klingon and Wiseau Premium brushes are made to last if you take care of them properly. So we're offering another product to help you do that and showing you the steps on how. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Please share if you know somebody else is having a little bit of trouble figuring out how to clean those brushes up and maintain them and take care of them for a long time. And if you want to use any of these products, the brushes, the new soap to be able to paint and have a wonderful time using Wiseau paint products. You can find your local Wiseau retailer nearest you in the description down below. I'll have the link to find yours. Hope everybody has a blessed day and as always, happy painting.